buzz is rising back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, I'd like to love to you and welcome. And to my returning selves, my born extended family, just thank you so much for just taking the time out for, you know, you're doing self-care, being able to heal and take one day at a time for be being able to heal from traumatic situations. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough i would love the chance for you to write a couple of lines you know for me like you're getting to know me i would love to get to know you even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please, you know, especially if they're going through trying times and, you know, need advice or even direction towards their soul purpose or even their life purpose, please share it. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, my um, meditation song that I'm listening to in the background is called Boost Your Serotonin and Endorphin Release on Aerial Beats Happiness Frequency. And I will post that link in the description box below. And it got me feeling so euphoric right now. I'm just like... <laughs> so, but anyway, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, turn your pain and disappointment into inspiration and motivation. It is. You know, when we go through so many trying things in our life, we have to be able to, even though it can be hard with, with us being in our human form, being forced into a human body, we tend to get frustrated, stressed out when we're going through really hectic situations. You know, we've been placing things, you know, we can lose our job, trying to figure out how you're going to pay all your bills. Um, car might break down, your kids working your last nerve, heck, even your spouse working on your last nerve. The boss is working your nerves, and the co workers are just making you want to pull your hair out. But it's just like when I look at my situation, it has some disappointing times, you know, painful things that I endured. But I can also, you know, I can spend all day looking at all the negatives to it. But why, when I can pay attention to the positive things it has brought out of this, you know, painful situation. Like I told people, it's a blessing to be able to go through a traumatic situation and convert it over to a positive outcome. Because it's like, you know, when you can show other people that, you know, you can open up without worrying about judgment, without worrying about how people will take you, what would people think about you, what's their opinion about you. I just feel like the right people will gravitate towards your way that really truly needs that guidance in their life. And I'm not trying to say I'm all holier than thou and I know everything because I don't. But it's just the fact is when I can be able to open myself up and be able to let people know my life experience and what I've been through and, you know, how I'm taking care of myself, you know, how am I dealing with you know a lot of different things that has occurred you know and it, it, it's a blessing when a lot of people can resonate with that situation being able to let them see their stuff at different perspective um seeing the perception out of the situations that you're going to levels of different things you know it's good when you can be able to allow people to look at it in a different way as a positive thing you know yeah i've been abused this and this and that you know but somebody has always been in some kind of experience like that if you haven't been that's truly a blessing but for people to be able to experience that you know you have to be able to use that to drive you you know pain will make you stay focused on trying to get out of certain situations because if you just sit there expecting your life to change without you doing anything you're going to be very disappointed you know so it's just like you know i could be sad one day but it's like if i know my energy like i've told y'all a lot if i know my my energy is like really like really messed up really down i, I choose not to make a video I'm trying to camouflage that y'all be able to see it because I've done it before and people are like, oh, why is the 
was fire. Your energy sounds so heavy. Even though you couldn't tell in my face, but my energy was there. And, you know, I got really powerful energy like that. So even with us not even being in a physical connection, you can feel my energy. So I'd just rather spread the peaceful, loving energy than that depressing, sad energy. You know, unless it's like something that uh universe tells me you know they need to see you with this side you know allow them to be able to see you you're a happy side allow them to be able to see you with your sad side you're you know wanting to give up side you know all those different things y'all have been able to experience with me and it's just like you know when i looked at videos that i did a long time ago and i was just like oh god you are a hot mess you know but it was good for you to be able to see those things because a lot of us can deal with that you know people are like i not gonna respect you because you're real you know you you keep it real and it's just like how else you're supposed to be you have to be able to let people know it's okay to not have a good day sometimes you got to be able to take into that self-care being able to do things is going to lift your you know your frequency up you know it's like not every day is going to be a happy day it ain't going to be no sunshine and roses you ain't going to be skipping through the tulips or whatever you know every day but you should be able to be blessed like yeah i'm having a sucky day but at least i can say i made it through it you know try to at least say even through a bad day you should at least have three things that you're you know you're you're blessed to have in that that jacked up situation so being able to motivate myself to know okay yeah i'm not where i want to be at right now you know but i'm learning while i'm here you know even though things is shifting you know things are changing I, I see things is going on in my life that I can truly be appreciated about you know I, I tell universe every day even when I forget sometimes I tell it again I said if I ain't tell you this and I don't know if I forgot or not but I'm gonna tell you again you know I thank them for allowing me to see the things that I had to go through even though at times I get frustrated because it seems like it's like repetitive I you know with me having OCD and ADD I hate doing the same thing over and over again I'm just like oh let me just do this, you know, let me just do it a different way or whatever, because I get aggravated doing the same thing over and over again. It just, you know, I don't know. It just, <laughs> I just don't like it. But being able to take your painful situation, your disappointed, you know, achievements or whatever that you're trying to achieve and get, got disappointed from, you know, there's a lot of times that I have did things and was on a search for and ran into brick walls. But when universe sees that yeah you have run it they might send you somewhere and run you into a brick wall just to see how you're going to respond to it just to see how you're going to react to that disappointment um they know it's not fair but it's just like that situation has taught you something even though you might have ran into a brick wall what was the positivity out of that certain thing because the fact is you didn't give up you know there's a lot of times that you might get mad because your plans didn't go as planned but that's okay because obviously if they you know they got something better in for you down the line anyway but they need to make sure is she or he really wanting this let me let's see how bad they want it because you can tell somebody you want something that bad but if you hit your head on that wall three times and you give up obviously you didn't want it that bad but you're going for it you keep going yeah you might get disappointed you might get mad you might have to take a break just to be able to you know what this is really working my nerves so i'm just going to take me a break today tell the universe i understand what you're trying to do but this is working on my last nerve can we have that talk because i'm tired of dealing with this okay take your little time <laughs> and do that but then you're up you know when you're up to the next game plan and knowing okay yeah it didn't work this route because a lot of times we try to do things on our own and it's like it's not working out for us because the fact is you work you know you're doing this all on your own when clearly when universe and source and creator and god is trying to work in your favor but you're not allowing that to happen sometimes you need to just sit down and have a couple of seats and let them do the work you know if you did what you needed to do and it didn't change at all take it up to the creators and let them know hey you know i know this you know my, my situation is you know what i'm trying to do can you please help us out help me out do this you know that's all you got to do because that's free will you know you have to be able to allow those things to be able to work in your favor for you but being able to see that as a blessing and know that you might have experienced some negative situations in your life but it's a blessing when i can turn around and i see people that you know i've always been inspired by people that you know mentored 
you know, and I never really knew that, that that's what I wanted to do. I just knew I was going to save the world. I just didn't know how I was going to do it. So, but being able to see people being motivational speakers and say, you know, hey, I've been through this. You know, hey, I've been through that, but I recovered. I did this and I did that. You would never believe the way they just, they just carried themselves. You know, they, they're articulate and all this. That they will tell you they've been through all these things. I'm like, wow. You know, I want to be like you when I grow up. You know, and just that—that's just amazing. You know, like I tell people, you know, when I when I've heard like my bosses, and you probably heard this story before, but it's it's like really comical to me. But he was like, oh, I'm a drug counselor, and I said, oh, okay. You know, knowing I was a weed smoker, so I'm like, all right. So what did what what kind of addiction did you have? You know, if you don't mind me asking, you know, were you alcohol, pill popper, you know, snort coat, what, you know, pop, you know, pop mollies, what'd you do? Oh, nothing. I just went to school for the... Well, I'm like, why are you looking at me like that? Because you think I said if I was, on, you know, if I just so happened to do some drugs, whatever, because I wasn't letting them know I was smoking weed at that time. We weren't supposed to be smoking weed, even though you probably, you know, put two and two together. But I'm just saying... I, like, uh, if I was to be recovering, like, from pot, trying not to smoke pot, whatever, um, I wouldn't come to you. And he's like, why not? You know, I would rather go to a drug, uh, to a crackhead that's been sober for 15 years and has went through hell and high water and still didn't go run back to crack before I go back to you just because you don't went to school for four or five. No. He's like, why? Because you... The mind, the book can't tell you what the mind function is. You know, if you have been down and out, your family's falling apart, you're losing your job, you can't concentrate, you know, bills is just piling up and you don't have enough money to cover everything. That allows you to get stressed. Stress, what does stress do when it comes to a person that's an addict? They go running back. Now, if this crackhead is going to tell me, yeah, I've been through this, this, and this, and this, and that, but... It took a lot of strength. It took a lot of concentration, motivation, this and this and that, for me not to run back to my old ways. Now, that's the person I want to talk to, not by somebody who read in a book what you're supposed to be doing. I can't do that because you have never been addicted to anything, so I can't learn nothing off of you. So you wouldn't know what it was to be in a, in a dark place and knowing you want to run back to something. But it's just the fact is, like, I can tell people, hey, I, you know, I've been smoking weed since I was, like, Shoot, I tried it the first time when I was like 14, but it, you know, I wasn't inhaling, so I didn't know what to do. So I didn't start really smoking until like 2012, you know, at the job that was like really like hectic for me. I really had people at me like every single day. It was always something I'm trying not to, you know, lose my job by throwing something at them or whatever. So I went towards that. But the blessing out of that, it's been almost seven months, I think, six or, yeah, seven months of going without that. And being able to deal with stuff sober. That's the blessing. You can tell somebody that, you know, because a lot of people come up to me, you know, Rosalind, you know, um, will it be healthy for me to, you know, still stay on this stuff or whatever? And I'm just like, hey, to each his own. Me, I wouldn't do it because that's putting, you know, a stunt on my blessings. It's like stunting your growth on you trying to exceed. And it's just like you, with a lot of addicts, as me being a recovering addict, we, we ran to stuff like that because we, that's how we dealt with our problems. That's nothing but an escape for you because them problems going to still be there. You know, no matter what, it may be making you feel good at that time. It might take your mind off of it. If that's what you want. But at the end of the day, that problem is still there. You know, I remember somebody made a post on Facebook yesterday. Hey, it's um, drinking bad. I'm like, mm. It just all depends on how you're drinking. Are you a social drinker that, you know, you probably go out and party, you know, or you're going to a get together and they're having a drink so you really don't drink. That's okay because you're not making it an everyday thing. Or, you know, if you're a, you're a, you're a functioning drunk, that's not good. No. So it's just like when you're going through all these things, you have to be able to face it head on, being able to know, okay, I got pain, I got disappointment, I got this, I got that, but I know 
what am I going to have to do to achieve these certain things in my life? And that's that's the big deal. That's the big question you have to be able to ask yourself. Because you know being in that dark place and seeing other people doing the things that they've been dreaming of doing and you're trying to get there too, you know they had to go through pain. They had to go through sacrifices. They had to go through determination and all these different things to get where they wanted to go. And so if you want to be like them when you grow up, you know you're going to have to go through hard times. But, you know, nothing was handed to you overnight. If you did, that's a true blessing to you but then when you know it it's like that pain that you go through will inspire you to do better things for your life that will like you know i want to get out of this situation but i know what do i got to do to change you know you're going to work on those things so being able to use your pain and disappointment to be able to use it as an inspiration and motivation that will that will motivate the hell out of you so I hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video. Leave me a leave me a uh, comment and let me know your your feedback on this. I'm not gonna go through all the other stuff because this is over 15 minutes long and I already know it's gonna take a long time for it to come out. But you know, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line, share. You know, when you drop a line, I'll go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. So I will see you on my next video. Much love to you, peace and be wild.